Lana, I thought you were gone. If you knew how that felt. Clark, I'm so sorry. I never wanted to hurt you. But you didn't trust me enough to let me help. I was trying to protect you. Clark, I know you. You're gonna rush in there and try and save someone, even if it means putting your own life in danger. And when Lionel threatened to hurt you, I couldn't take that chance. You know, it's a little ironic hearing someone else say that. But I guess I'm just not used to being the one that needs to be protected. I can't wait to see the look on Chloe's face when she finds out you're alive. She can't. Not yet. I committed a serious crime and I wasn't supposed to come back here. My name has to be cleared before I suddenly reappear in Smallville. Well, then you stay here at the farm with me. You'll be safe. But I have to warn you, my life has become a little more... complicated. That might be an understatement. Lana, this is my cousin, Kara. Hey. Hi. Say hello to the next Miss Sweetcorn. <laughs> uh, listen, uh, when I talked about fitting in, I was thinking of something with more clothes. This is definitely not blending in. You mean undercover? Yes, exactly. And this is not cover. Um, look, can you just go change, please? Now. Fine. <laughs> you said now. I guess I don't have to ask which side of the family you come from. Why don't I leave you two alone? Something tells me you've got a lot of issues to talk about. She's nice. There might be hope for you yet. Listen, Kara, entering a beauty pageant, putting yourself on stage under a spotlight, it's not fitting in. It's standing out. Right. Kind of like being the captain of a football team. Looks like you wanted the same thing I want. Well, you were living the all-American dream. I was stuck in some cryogenic coffin, wasting the best years of my life. I don't want to miss out on anything else. And if you're anything like me, you're gonna do this whether I want you to or not. But not until you learn to control your abilities. <laughs>